I just want to say uh, happy Father's Day to my dad. Uh, shout out to him always being there for me when I need him. I just want to say happy Father's Day to my dad. I love him. Happy, happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. We love, we you, love dad. you, dad. What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to Timeless Sneakers and Watches. This one is... Just a quick special episode, obviously, as Father's Day weekend is upon us. Definitely wanted to take the time to wish all the fathers out there a happy Father's Day. I know it's not just a day to celebrate uh, what we should all be doing right with our kids and, and our family, but it's nice to know that there is a day to recognize those real fathers out there, right? And so therefore, from Timeless Sneakers and Watches, I wanna wish every single father out there from the watch fam, as well as from the sneaker fam, a happy Father's Day weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're watching this after Father's Day, I hope you had a blast. And so therefore, it's the reason why I wanted to make this quick video as Father's Day weekend, um, you know, I got a nice gift from my family for Father's Day, and I wanted to share that with you guys. And that was, bam! Yeah, this beautiful Seiko Captain Willard, the SPB 183, also known as the SBDC 123 wanted to share this with you guys as this was the gift i got from my beautiful family so let's get into it also in the spirit of father's day and for my kids mandalorian This beautiful Captain Willard. Um, we all know why it's called the Captain Willard. So no need for me to go into all the movie references and the reasons why we nicknamed <laughs> this beautiful piece the Captain Willard. But it's one of those watches, right, that was introduced back in the 1970s. It actually ran all the way through 1977. And from 1977 on is what we now know or view as the turtle now the case on this piece i'm sure you guys can see is very similar to that of the turtle but in fact this is not the turtle <laughs> so originally in 1970 i think the reference uh, number was the 6105 if i'm not mistaken was the original cushion case um, and obviously this watch has tons of history it was used in the military it was used for um, you know exploration um, and then obviously right it hit Hollywood <laughs> and that's where we nicknamed uh, the Captain Willard from but the original cushion case as you guys can see um, and believe it or not you know the crazy part was that this watch took some time for me to like um, you know early on in my watch collecting journey this is one of those watches that I wasn't initially intrigued or pulled into I always kind of found the case to be ugly uh, to be quite honest with you guys um, but like fine wine right as you get deeper into this hobby uh, your taste and you know your likes for watches and pieces change and I started liking this more and more now this one here this all blue Captain Willard here was part of their 55th anniversary releases last year in 2020 and it's just one of those beautiful all blue pieces and we all know right there's the black bay 58 in all blue there's rolex with the all blue and so all blue tends to be the hype right and so no surprise seiko jumped on that with this beautiful reinterpretation of the captain willard of that 6105 and you know gave us an all blue captain willard now there is the original uh color there is an all black there is also this olive green which is beautiful and it comes in a uh, black rubber strap which i thought was also amazing 
Now, this one here, the SPV183 or the SBDC123, is limited to 5,500 pieces. So um, kind of cool because it is a limited edition. Uh, you can see the beautiful blue, um, that dial, right? Has that sunburst effect. I love that seconds hand and it just wears amazing guys. You know, the case measures in just a little over 42 millimeters, which is perfect. And we all know, right? That Seiko magic on that case. I mean, the case really from lug width, I mean, it's about 46, a little over 46 millimeters is what I measured. And then obviously, right, those lugs, 20 millimeters. It just looks great. I really come to enjoy and love this cushion case of the Captain Willard, even more so than the Mini Turtle. Um, and I was thinking maybe I should do a video on comparing the all blue Mini Turtle versus this all blue Captain Willard. Guys, if you haven't checked out that mini turtle video, I will leave the link down below. Check out the video and let me know what you guys think. But getting back to this beautiful piece, it's just one of those that is so iconic. And so I am super blessed and thankful to be able to add this to the collection. Um, you know, one of the more iconic and important divers, right, that Seiko has released. And so it's nice to have a little piece of history, obviously now with modern um, technology and materials, right, upgraded movement. So this has that 6R35 with the 70 hours of power reserve. And I love that flat sapphire crystal with the AR coating. It has that nice detail, right? Um, which, you know, gives you some distortion on the dial. It just adds some depth to this overall design. And I love that. The blue aluminum bezel. I actually love that it's aluminum. It obviously matches the color of the dial better. And it's one of those things where not everything has to be sapphire, you know, bezel insert or ceramic bezel insert. I get it right long term those things will definitely last longer but it's nice to know that you know this watch will potentially age with me right that aluminum bezel will patina over time and maybe fade and who knows what this piece will look like you know 20 30 years down the road or even when it gets passed down to maybe one of my kids right and so i love that it's aluminum i love the bezel action on this willard I mean, it's fantastic, buttery smooth, right? Just enough tension, but it is so smooth. That typical Seiko, um, you know, bezel action. It's just amazing. The loom, nothing to be disappointed on, right? Um, and I think just the, the dial just looks great. The symmetry of that dial, right? With the date window there, kind of almost plays into it being an indice right um the white background really kind of blends and it gives it a real nice dynamic uh the symmetry again very very nice on this piece and yeah i you know i love it i am so thankful for this beautiful gift um it's just one of those that i will forever cherish and to be quite honest with you i don't know if it'll ever leave my uh collection it's it's one of those that i have fallen in love i've wanted for so long and I was blessed to get as a gift. I also want to just give a huge shout out to Adam over at Belmont. Uh, Adam has become my main source, my main dealer for all these pieces. And he was nice enough to source one of these out for me and uh, help my family, right, source it to, to give it to me for Father's Day. And I thought it was an amazing gesture. And so Adam, thank you so much, man. Um, <laughs> man, my collection just keeps getting bigger. Uh, I need to get to the point where one comes in, but one has to go. <laughs> and so, but guys, let me know what you guys think. Again, just a quick overview of my Father's Day gift. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, give me a follow over at Instagram at Timeless Sneakers and Watches. Feel free to please subscribe. I have some amazing watches, some good sneakers coming in for review here soon. So. Please subscribe, that way you're up to date with any new drops. And guys, I appreciate you guys. Again, happy Father's Day to everyone. And again, truly appreciate the support. Till next time, peace.